Today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. I want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for the generous donate, donation of all this beautiful black cow cow manure that uh, we use in our video today. And uh, it's made a tremendous success in our garden. I've been using black cow for uh, many years, ever since 1980, and it's always made a tremendous difference in my garden. And I've been very pleased with our product. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Black Gold, for sponsoring our channel. Well, good morning, friends. Today we're going to plant some oak leaf lettuce together and get that started. We'll be right back after the break. Well, welcome back, friends. Going to get these seeds started for this uh, oak leaf lettuce. I want to tell you about them. Um, these are two uh, oak leaf lettuce. One of them is called Tango. And the Tango is a real bright green oak leaf, really good and tasty. And the other one is called um, a Spritzer. And the spritzer is a real dark red, so I like to mix these two um, varieties of oak leaf lettuce together when I plant because when we make the salad, it's pretty. We just like making things pretty around here. And Nancy's all about having, you know, multiple colors on her kimchi and her foods, and she just, she just loves presentation. You'll notice whenever she makes a a meal she'll go out into the yard and pick flowers and all kinds of stuff that us guys would never think of doing when she makes the table a real pretty table makes for a real nice home setting but anyway we're going to do the um, oak leaf lettuce here in two colors so there's a good pretty contrast when you put it in the salad bowl and this is a good tasting lettuce too if if you've never had any oak leaf lettuce Check it out because they're a good tasting and they're they're kind of a sweet tasting lettuce. They're real small. So when we harvest them, we just harvest enough for a, a, a salad and then um, let them continue to grow. And we get a whole bunch of um, harvest out of them. Anyway, I've got my um, seed tray or seed cells ready to go here. I got them packed in. And the temperatures are finally cooling off here in Florida. We're down into the 70s now, 60s at night. And that's the kind of the temperature range you want to look for to do your lettuce. Because if it's any hotter than that, they have a real hard time germinating. And even if they do, then they have a hard time surviving. Because really, don't forget, you know, lettuce is kind of a, a cool weather plant. So it's good to plant these in the fall. And you can also plant them in the early spring. It, it's a good vegetable for um, both times of the year, both seasons. So this is our fall vegetable. This may be um, something you want to consider for your fall garden this year. So there we go. We got the um, we got the trays uh, packed, and I, I temp them down, kind of squash out some of that air. And we'll start us a couple of uh, trays here. We'll make this one the spritzer. Spritzer is the dark red, remember? Okay. Now, when I plant these, I don't really try to get one or two seeds in each cell. I put, you know, a pinch. I get five, six seeds in each one of them, even more because I have found that when we plant these in the containers and it's got multiple little um, plants coming up, they do just fine because these things don't get real big, remember? They're kind of small. And um, that saves me a step because I don't have to come back and thin them out. A lot of people do. They try to thin it down to like one or two seedlings in each cup but i don't do that i maybe i'm getting lazy in my old age but all i know is it works just fine without trying to thin them out and go ahead and get you some extras 
the seeds in there. It ain't hurting a thing. Okay. And they get plenty of them. I got these seeds from johnnyseed.com. So if you want to get some of these seeds, go on their website and check it out because, man, they got a whole bunch of um, cool seeds to select from and gives you lots of good ideas for your uh, fall garden as well as your spring garden. So check them out. And here's the tango. The tango is a bright green one. This is the one I was talking about, why I like to... Um, mix the colors together like that it makes a kind of a pretty presentation so there i go i'm dropping the seeds in i'm not being real careful with it i'm not even sure how many i'm getting in there it's a bunch and it don't hurt remember and we're going to grow all these seeds and all these lettuces we're going to grow them in containers and the reason for that is, is they're much easier to maintain and harvest while they're up on a grow table. So you don't have to get down on your hands and knees and maintain them and work with them. The, um, the bug insect problem, once you get them up off the ground like that, greatly reduces that insect infestation that a lot of people get. Aphids and slugs and stuff like that. You get them up off the ground on the table like this and they are much easier to work with and they're easier to keep the bugs off of them. And another thing I like about that is if I grow them on the tables and I'm not down on the ground in the, at the soil level, you don't get all that irrigation and that rain hitting the ground and splashing all that sand and dirt up into the lettuce which makes it very difficult to clean you know, when you get ready to eat it. So it's pretty clean when it's um, ready to harvest because it's been protected up there on that table. Got the seeds in. Next thing I do is I just put a light covering of the um, seed starting mix on top of this. We're really only looking for about a quarter of an inch of soil material on top of the um, seeds. So you don't want to get them too deep in there because they have a very difficult time Get, getting germinated and coming on through that and even if they do it takes forever so if you put a real light um, soil cover on top of that it gives them a better chance of survival a much better germination rate and then everybody's happy okay so you get the uh, soil covered on the onto the seeds pack it down a little bit you want to get it to where you're mashing that air out of there as much as you can and you want that soil to have good contact with that um seed you know so it's got something to stick to and it's got something to help it germinate and hold that moisture against it okay there we go now we'll do one final little lightly water these. You don't have to water it very much the second time. Remember we already watered most of that tray and got it pre-moistened, got our seeds in, and then we put a light watering on the top, right? And there we go. Okay, got my little tags in. Let's go get these over in the seed starting rack and get these things growing. Okay. There's our oak leaf lettuce, two trays, the um, tango, and the spritzer. So we'll be back in the days ahead, and we're going to watch the development of these um, beautiful oak leaf lettuce all the way up to the day we harvest it. So we'll be back soon in the days ahead, as soon as this gets up where it's big enough to transplant, and we're going to grow it in containers. We'll, we'll go through that process together. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Well, good morning, friends. Our oak leaf lettuce has been out here on the grow, uh, in the growing uh, seed starting growing rack for about two weeks now, and it's really doing good. If you come up and take a little close look, here's the the, um, the tango, which is a, a beautiful bright green color. You can see that it's already getting uh, true leaves on it, and, they're, and the little seedling transplants are now up to about two inches tall. And this is the uh, spritzer, 
the red oak leaf really got a beautiful color in the leaves already and they're really still only two weeks old so this is a good um, tray I'm gonna let these two trays continue to grow I say at least another week out here on, on the uh, seed starting rack and um, let them get a little bit more height and as soon as I get about another week on them then I'll harden them off for about three or four days and we'll get them transplanted and get them over to the uh, um, 40 percent shade cloth uh, Nancy's herb table and we grow a lot of good stuff over there under that 40 percent so these two trays will be ready here very shortly I'll be back soon and we'll carry on with the progression of this these little oak leaf lettuces together see you soon well good morning our oak leaf lettuce has been growing into a uh, seed starting rack for a couple of a couple of days over three weeks today and um, if you come up here and take a close look you can look at the red the spritzer the red oak leaf as well as the uh, tango the green oak leaf both of these are doing beautiful um, they've got plenty of true leaves on them now they're getting up big enough to where i can go ahead and transplant these so Depending on how much time I've got today, I want to try to get these um, transplanted today into some containers, but I might have to wait until the morning. But I, I got some other jobs I got to do. But I just wanted to show you these um, oak leaf lettuce, how yummy, yummy they look. So we'll be back um, to put these in the ground. Most likely we'll transplant them into the containers in the morning. I've j I'm just buried with... Uh, <laughs> lots of chores a day but I'm gonna get to it but I just wanted you to see that after a little over three weeks they ready <laughs> so we'll be probably be back in the morning to get these into some containers and get them on the uh, herb table over there and let these get growing so probably see you in the morning The tango lettuce and the spritzer lettuce have been out on the hardening table for a couple, three more days. And this tango, the light green oak leaf lettuce, it's ready to get put into the cups. I'm gonna, we're gonna use these smaller cups for this lettuce because it really don't get real big. And this is plenty of, of all you need. So you don't have to spend a bunch of money on soil trying to fill up big containers. Just use a small container. It makes it much faster and easier because there's some fast growing stuff. Okay, so here's the tango. The spritzer is still a little bit small. I'm gonna let this uh, grow out for uh, maybe another week. And so we'll come back and get the spritzer in the, uh, in the containers, you know, next in a few days and give this a little more time on the uh, hardening table. So we're about ready to get this started, right? Right. It's pretty easy. I'm just gonna put some of my container mix that I make myself, so if you wanna, uh, make some container mix uh, yourself at home. Uh, we got a little video, Nancy will put it on here for you um, on how to do that at home, really nothing to it. And then we're gonna add a little bit of blood meal to each one of the uh, cups as we put the plant in. So let's get started. Okay, let me show you how we do this because it's really nothing to it. All we do is we put the, um, the container mix in, into the cup and I push a small hole in there and I usually go tip of my finger to the middle of my palm. And that always seems to work out just right. I put myself in right out about a teaspoon of um, blood meal in the hole. Then I take one of these beautiful tangos. And remember, we didn't try to put a single seed in each cell. We didn't try to thin them down. We just, whatever went in the cell, this one has, this one has two in it. So as, as you can see, it's okay. They don't crowd up too bad. They're okay when you leave them multiple plants in there. And I'm not gonna try to thin them down. So when I take them out, I have two, three, four little tiny lettuces in each one of my cells. That's the way it is, baby. It'll grow just fine, just like that. So there's our first one. So let me and Nancy get together and let's get these things put in the ground and we'll get, I mean, put in the containers and we'll go over to the, um, to the herb table and get them out there under that 40% shade cloth and let them get going. 
<laughs> Let's roll. Well, we got all the tango planted and on the grow table. We reserved this other end of the grow table for the red oak leaf. So that'll be coming out, you know, in a few more days. So right now, Nancy's watering them all in, getting them all uh, watered just right so we can get these things growing, right, babe? Mm -hmm. Get us some salads. Oh, yeah. So we'll be back in a few days while we put the rest of these out on the table and uh, we'll be off and running. So we'll be back soon. Well, welcome back, friends. As promised, I finally got the uh, red oak leaf spritzer lettuce installed in the uh, containers, and I got them up here on the grow table. So our little herb table here is becoming quite the salad bar. The um, oak leaf lettuce is looking really pretty. It's getting, uh, it, it got a few more, uh, a couple of inches bigger sitting out there for just a few days. So it's really going to explode now that it got a little bit more container and a little bit of blood meal in there. I planted this exactly the same way as I did the tango. So there's really no sense in going through that all over again. But as you see, we got a mix here of the tango, light green, beautiful lime green colored lettuce with the red oak leaf lettuce. So Nancy just loves combining colors. And you can tell the difference in the, um, the black seeded Simpson, the green on that and the tango green, the two greens are uh, uh, also another contrast. We also got the romaine lettuce. So we like to chop that up. So by the time you take these uh, one, two, three, four different lettuces, let I, <laughs> and chop them up and put them in a beautiful salad and put some onions and tomato in there and a radish. Wow, that's a, almost a meal, you know? So anyway, we'll be back in the days ahead and we'll watch the beautiful lettuce table out here come to life and uh, I'm sure Nancy will come out here and make a delicious salad for us. So we'll see you back in the days ahead as we watch this grow. See you soon. Well, good morning, friends. Got our spritzer um, red oak leaf lettuce and our tango green leaf oak leaf lettuce has been on the table now for about f four and a half weeks. Today's November the 2nd. We planted it, uh, it from seed on September the 29th. So it's doing really well. We uh, had it up under the 40% shade cloth until yesterday and the temperatures finally got a little more seasonable here in Florida. It's into the 40s at night and 70s during the daytime. So I pulled them out from under the 40% shade cloth, got them out here on the grow table in the full sun. Now they can tolerate pretty much uh, eight, nine hours of uh, full sun out here with the cooler temperatures really with no problem. So that's a good time to pull them out. But if you take a good look at this uh, beautiful oak leaf it looks fantastic the the um, tango green as well as the spritzer red they both look beautiful so we'll be back in uh, a few weeks here this is not going to take very much longer and it'd be ready to pick and uh, we can put it together with the uh, black seeded simpson and our um our green romaine and mix this It'd be a really nice mix for our uh, mixed salad so we'll be back in the days ahead and We'll watch the progress of this beautiful oak leaf lettuce. See you soon.
Well, it's been six weeks since we planted our tango and our spritzer lettuce, uh, oak leaf lettuce from seed. And today they're pretty much ready to harvest and uh, start enjoying. The, um, the tango is, you know, the, the bright green oak leaf lettuce and the spritzer is the red oak leaf lettuce. And, you know, as we've been talking about earlier, the red oak leaf is gonna grow a little bit slower than the green. So they're both doing great. They're doing just what they're supposed to do. And these are really at the point now where we can go ahead and start harvesting and uh, combining this beautiful lettuce together in a salad. Let's see how they, how they look together. I love that contrast in color. Very good lettuce. So let's uh, come on up and take a good look at, uh, you know, what we got. And uh, we'll be ready to enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed tagging along with us on this journey of this beautiful oak leaf lettuce. This might be something you want to try in your garden. And I can promise you, it ain't bad. I think you'll like it. It's really easy to grow and you can do it really great in containers. Whenever I go to harvest this, it's easy to harvest. It's at a comfortable working level. It's not full of sand and dirt from being on the ground, subjected to the splash up from irrigation and or rain. So these containers is really a good way to go and um, it, it produces quite nicely for you. So we hope that our videos brought a joy to your little joy to your heart and a smile to your face today and it kind of gave you a break from all of what's going in the world going on in the world today so until me and nancy see you next time we want to thank the lord for this beautiful lettuce by his hands we are fed give us lord our daily bread amen have a blessed day